Hello everyone. Earlier this month I was invited by Bungie to an online preview event for The Final Shape, where they showed us some of the content we'll be getting of the DLC, as well as letting us ask questions. I am now allowed to talk about this event and wanted to share with you all some of the things that I personally enjoyed and found interesting. Just a reminder that everything I'm about to show and tell you is based on the preview experience and is subject to change at the launch of the DLC. First up, let's get into some good news. Along with our extra vault spaces, we're also getting more loadout slots in the final shape. I don't know how many we'll be getting or how to unlock them, but they're supposed to be pretty easy to obtain. This will be nice of Prismatic being added since I know a lot of people are going to need those extra slots, myself included. Next up is Prismatic. With Lightfall, I was pretty disappointed that we kept only getting small tastes of Strand for most of the DLC, but this time we will get access to the subclass much sooner, so we can actually use it throughout the final shape. I'm also pretty keen to try out the Warlock Song of Flame though, so I'll have to see which I end up using more depending on when we unlock each one. As a little side note, Bungie has not ruled out expanding further the Prismatic subclass by adding even more abilities, but I want to see what shenanigans we get up to with Prismatic first before they look into this further. If you remember the prismatic previews, you'll have seen the two bars that need to be filled before you can use Transcendence. One filled by using Darkness, and the other by using Light. Bungie did tell us that these bars are not tied to any stats, so you can't make a charge faster by slotting in more Intellect, for example. However, you will be able to spec into it within the subclass itself, presumably through the fragments and more. Now onto something that I really love in Destiny, Mechanics. There's a lot of mechanics in Destiny, of which we will see some return, but there's one they showed us which was also in the second vid doc that I'm pretty excited about. The lava coming at you, forcing you to keep moving to different areas or just keep moving in general. Seeing this reminded me of the Servitor Chase and Scourge in a way. An encounter where you have to run or perish. I personally hope to see something like this in the raid where you have to keep moving during a boss encounter. Rolk and Nizarek are interesting since they actively attack you during the damage phase, but even with those a lot of people still just stand in place. The well nerf might change this, but it would be nice just to have a more dynamic boss room that you have to run around in. Something you've probably already seen if you've been keeping up to date on all the final shape news, but I'm going to mention it anyway since I'm very happy about it, is the UI update. They are finally splitting up the UI so that we won't have various buffs and status effects getting buried anymore. No more excuses that you couldn't see your imminent attain, so make sure to keep an eye on your debuffs. Along with this, we're getting the ally health bar system, or I guess the health circle. As someone who likes to play a more supportive role on Warlock, this will be really nice to help keep track of who is in the most danger. As a final bigger note, I just wanted to share how excited I am about the new destinations and the new enemies. Those of you who have been following me for a while will be aware that I love the visuals in Destiny 2, and I am very excited to explore this new destination with its twist on old locations, as well as brand new places to explore. Some of you will also probably have seen that I like to mess with the AI of the enemies we encounter, so having a whole new flying enemy type to play with is going to keep me entertained for quite a few hours. Maybe I can also catch a riot on them like I did of Sabathun. Let's round off with just a small little detail I enjoyed from the preview. This gun here from the card inspired weapons also has a heart on its scope. I just found that really cute and wanted to share. I'm excited to get my hands on these weapons to inspect them in more detail. And that is all I have to share with you for now. I hope you're all excited for the final shape with it being less than a week away, because I sure am. See you all star side guardians. Bye bye.